So a very good morning guys from here in the centre of Gibraltar and today we're going to go and take a look at the lesser visited Gibraltar market. This is the food market and we're going to go and take a look around Gibraltar centre as well as this is the last Friday before Christmas so come join me guys we're going to enjoy this. So that's it everybody the Christmas weekend officially starts now. Today is Friday the 22nd of December and I want to include some shots of Main Street here so you guys can see how busy it is. I had never seen Main Street so busy as I had done today. Absolutely fantastic. People doing their Christmas shopping. 18 degrees. In the sun it feels really nice but in the shade you do need a jacket here. But what we want to do is we want to make our way down Main Street going through Casemate Square and then we shall arrive at the lesser known Gibraltar market now this is a food market and well I'm going to show you guys it in just a few seconds time but we've got the casemates gates there just by the pizzeria plaza now the market's very well hidden because this is the entrance I spent years walking past Gibraltar market not knowing it was here so yeah let's enter and let's take a look so my motivation for making this video today was that we went down to Morrison's and there were several things we needed for our Christmas dinner that they didn't have. So we managed to find some really nice fresh ingredients from this market. Now this market is in a similar style to the food markets you would find across the border in Spain in most towns and cities. I mean some bigger cities will have several of these markets set up not only that, but when you come to this market here in Gibraltar, you can find almost all of the produce comes from Spain here. So it's very good for getting fresh vegetables and stuff like that, because if you're going to say Morrison's to buy your vegetables, they're not going to be very fresh after they've travelled from the UK, but these come from across the border. Just wait to film those fish. Very interesting looking fish is there. Absolutely fantastic, and we're going to start slowly making our way around these market stalls to see what kind of food is on offer. I mean, as I say, it's almost all of it is coming from Spain. Gibraltar doesn't really have any agricultural areas. I mean, apart from a few loose chickens on the rock, there's nowhere to raise cattle or, you know, any other type of... Uh, farm animals so yeah we get everything from across the border and in fact I don't I've never even seen an allotment down there down here in Gibraltar so I mean maybe there are does anybody know if there are any allotments in Gibraltar if so let me know could be a good idea could be a nice little hobby to start growing your own fruit and vegetables but yeah let's have a look around and as I say these products as well all from Spain you can see not only his uh, is Spanish written on the label but these are typical Spanish food goods that are consumed across the border but it's nice to see a cross-border trade and to see the mix of different cultures and this is probably the best place in Gibraltar to see the mix of Spanish culture on British soil you can see here rock olives and a, well I'm not giving out any prizes for guessing what they sell they have a quite a few butchered stands but I've had to cut it out quite a lot of these uh, market stalls are actually empty and closed up so there's only about eight or nine market stalls maybe ten they're actually working a couple of butchers stalls a couple of fish stalls a couple of vegetable stalls you've got the one olive stall there as well but as I say we'll try and make as much content with what we've got here in Gibraltar it is a nice little quirky place to visit here in the city centre it'll take you all of five minutes to go round it if you want to buy fresh produce obviously you can and yeah definitely worth the visit as I say it'll only take you five minutes to go around but you can see how busy it is as well with local Gibraltarians very popular very popular with the elderly community here You've got more butchers here as well. 
just take a look, you see the people queue up. It's surprising to see how busy it gets here, actually. We came quite late. I'm sure if you're here at 8, 9 o'clock in the morning, this place could be pretty packed. But we're here at about 12 o'clock in the afternoon, so we've come just after midday now. But look at these turkeys. So, guys, if you need a turkey before Christmas, I would say this place is your best shout, although I have seen Morrison's selling whole turkeys for six pounds. But let's have a look at the structure of the market as we take our final shots. And that is something very interesting that we've seen today, and it really is a lesser known part of Gibraltar. But have a look at these. Everything looking beautiful, fresh. And I'll leave you with a shot of the fishmongers. So there we are guys, we've just checked out the Gibraltar food market here, a lesser known place here in Gibraltar. So yeah, if you're here between eight o'clock in the morning and two o'clock in the afternoon, come check it out. You can see most of the produce comes from Spain, but it's still very interesting to visit. But from me here in the center of Gibraltar, I'll see you on the next adventure.